Ketakis John Lil Chua Matsunga, Titexitin, Lom Tu, Kan Soye, Tuna Zwan, Zaipol, Kan Night Hadona, Christ the King Cathedral Branch, Zaipol Te, Ania, Anihi Cathedral Branch Te, Ani Angin, Zaipol Member Apo, Achan Him. Ngai Zwal Le Member Tampol Anni Pazar Zara Kan Swang Le Ani Now I'd like to present not just the good looking ones but also the finest ones that's always been very devoted and dedicated in serving the Lord through their voices and uncountable number of activities that they perform inside and outside the church Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Christ the King Cathedral Branch Choir Kut Beng Ang Ule Anin rem tsung hian program sheet ah kan huang khan annex item nei tur te kha he ta backstage ah hian lawin rem log zel turin kan in ge ne
On behalf of Christ the King Cathedral Youth Members, I would like to facilitate His Excellency, Archbishop Leopoldo Guerrelli, with a traditional miso bag to show our love and appreciation for being among our midst. Um, thank you so much. That was very beautiful and soothing. Thank you so much to all the choir members of Cathedral Branch. So as many of us might have known already, today happens to be the birthday of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and that just made this evening so much more special. And with that, I would like to say that we are humbled and sincerely honored to be standing here in front of you all this evening. Ole, Cathedral. Branch Zai Polte in Tiam Ne, Megan Loma, or Tuna, can I talk to Kan Kan, who in he can Pope Francis birthday and Iboka Zanin program to Pohi, me sharing Tun Kan in a Lule Zul Kopin can share. Do not soon in welcome address can Nayanga. I would like to call upon Most Reverend Stephen Root Luang, a CSC, Bishop of Isol, to give a welcome address. Your Excellency, Most Reverend <clears throat> Leopoldo Guerrilli, Apostolic <clears throat> Nuncio to India and Nepal, Reverend Father Joseph Lalbiaktang RVG, and Reverend Father Joachim Walder, the Episcopal Vicar of Berg Valley. Our other diocese officials, I'll not mention their titles all, the fathers, the brothers, and their sisters, and the DPC members, and all of you distinguished guests, and especially invited guests of tonight, it is indeed a joy and privilege for me to extend a very hearty and warm welcome to you all. On behalf of all the faithful who are not able to come tonight, and also other many members, the clergy and the religious members, most of whom, only few are able to turn up tonight, uh, On this occasion of the pastoral visit, showing the pastoral care of Nuncia to our very remote corner state in the northeast of this Mizoram state. We have had the uh, visit of two Nuncias earlier, way back in 2005. We had Nuncio Excellency Lopez Quintana, who came, like this time, visited Silchar first, first with a program. And after 10 years, 2015, the, uh, another Nuncio, Salvatore Pinocchio, also visited us. And year, years have gone by. And within less than 10 years, in the seventh year, we are so privileged and so fortunate to have this visit of the Apostolic Nuncio 
in the person of His Excellency Leopoldo Girelli tonight. So let us welcome him with a big round of applause coming from the bottom of our heart to say welcome and thank you to His Excellency Nuncio. When the time comes, I have a miso shawl, warm shawl, to keep his warmth intact for us and for the church, universal church also, uh, when I'm called in due time. And I, it is my also pleasant duty, not only to welcome also, but to introduce to you who the guest among us is tonight. Some of you might have already seen it in the uh, WhatsApp and other media, electronic media. But for the sake of those who don't know yet, I think it is a joy to know our chief guest tonight, our very beloved guest uh, who represents our Holy Father tonight. Be besides holding the doctorate in theology, Archbishop Leopoldo entered the diplomatic service of Holy See on 13 July 1987, and he served the apostolic nunciatures in Cameroon and New Zealand in a section of the general affairs of the Secretariat of State of the Holy See and the apostolic nunciature in the United States of America. And uh, on uh, 13th of April 2006, Pope Benedict, Holy Father, appointed him apostolic nuncio, nuncio to Indonesia. And on the 10th October, the same year, a few months after, he was appointed apostolic nuncio to East Timor. Is not all. In these 10 years or so, he has served in so many countries already. On 13 January 2011, he was appointed apostolic nuncio to Singapore, and also apostolic delegate to Malaysia and to Brunei, and non-residential pontifical representative for Vietnam. And the Holy Father, present Holy Father Pope Francis, appointed apostolic nuncio to, on J June 2011, Asian Association of the Southeast Asian Nation on September 13, 2017, six years after, he was appointed apostolic nuncio to Israel, and he was appointed apostolic, sorry, delegate of Jerusalem and Palestine on September 15, 2017, and also nuncio to Cyprus. And finally, last year, March 13, he was, the Holy Father appointed him to be our apostolic nuncio to India and to Nepal in September 13. So that's the vast experience and the wisdom and the pastoral uh, responsibility that he has been having representing Vatican to many different countries. So to have him in our midst tonight, it is having a wealth of so many years of experience and wisdom and also the blessing, rich blessing, coming from Holy Father. He not only represents, and he is not only the ambassador, but also he represents the Holy Father in person. That's what makes it so precious and so valuable for us, for us so far away in this diocese, to have our link and our solidarity and unity with our Holy Father directly through his presence, through his visit this time. So words cannot express how happy we are, Your Excellency, that you are in our midst here. <clears throat> the Annuncia has already visited uh, almost 30 dioceses in less than two years. And in India, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Hyderabad, UP, MP, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Nepal, Assam, and now Aizol Diocese. And he said he'd like to visit all the dioceses of the Northeast, if not all India. That's his pastoral commitment 
and fatherly care for whatever dioceses or responsibility he has uh, for them. Uh, so this is just the background so that we remember His Excellency in this visit. A little bit about our own Mizoram uh, for his uh, benefit. Yeah, Mizoram, I don't want to take long history already. Uh, the, in a history where young community that have come to present habitat somewhere around 16, 17, uh, 1700 or 16 to 1700 and settled down here. Hardly 300 years. We're a young community compared to many other communities and, and a race uh, in India. We are very young here in this part of India. And as you see, it is strategically very uh, located as a small state in this northeast of India between the countries of Myanmar and Bangladesh. And due to the different difficult terrain and its uh, remoteness, connectivity is uh, all its, oh, has much, leaves much to, desired, to, to be desired. However, Mizoram is blessed with natural beauty, clean atmosphere, an excellent climate and abundant resources. And Mizo society happens to be the Mongolian, Mongolian stock, very well-knit society and a very bright and vibrant community with very unique core cultural values which we, I don't see in other communities which I'd like to highlight. Uh, maybe it's good uh, to know a little bit of our, what our community, what Mizo society is. We have what we call cultural core, va core values, klom ngayina, and uh, this has no term uh, uh, in uh, other languages. It is, it reflects the self-emptying kenosis of Christ to go out of one's way to do whatever is possible to the point of giving one's life for the other. Even before Christianity came, even the gospel values came, this was the moral code which binds, which is at the center of Mizu society. Maybe that's why we still have this sense of uh, desire to go out of the way to help others. It's not that it is not present in others, but this is what characterizes Mizu society to be of some help for others, to, ready, to be ready to suffer, even to die. And our heroes are all those who have given their lives for their uh, village members or for others. We have many, many heroes, and they are source of inspiration um, whom we look forward to. So that gives you an idea. Maybe the Christian, coming of the Christian, in fact, should enhance that. But sadly, it is the, you know, the development and advancement is removing these cultural core values in many ways. Anyway, and coming to our Catholic community, I'm happy to say that we have celebrated just uh, in the month of November in the presence of uh, His uh, Eminence, Cardinal Oswald Gracious, who spent three or four days with us, the 75th Platinum Jubilee of the permanent presence of the priest, pioneer priest here in Mizoram and in the very place with the first church, which has become cathedral, which will go tomorrow to you, your eminence. Your Excellency will be the celebrant there in the cathedral. And last year, we also celebrated Silver Jubilee of the Dice of Aizol after bifurcation of Agartala and, uh, and when Silchar uh, Apostolic See was shifted to Aizol, then uh, where the present Bishop House is now, where we're staying now. During these two or three decades, we have grown much. We have many things to be thankful to God for. And uh, like we're happy to see the steady growth of the diocese in many aspects. And uh, within more, with more centers and parishes, 
let's say from when I took over, it was just 14 now, grown to 32 parishes. And the new communities of religious men and women, from five communities to 12. And from the women, six to 22 communities, at Berg Valley and here in Mizoram. And uh, we have now the total number of our religious, well, it, it changes, 275 members, including 50 priests and 220 brothers, more or less, you know, it keeps on increasing or decreasing. Out of 33 diocesan and priests, one third is of the local origin, and the number of the local vocations have uh, grown from handful to nearly 45 major and minor seminarians. And the minor seminary in Berg Valley was just uh, blessed by uh, His ex <coughs> Excellency Nunsi himself yesterday, uh, yesterday, yes, uh, day before yesterday, rather. Then with what we are very proud is with dozen officials and consultative bodies together with the dozen pastoral councils and uh, well-formed active 13 commissions, we address and attend to the various needs of the diocese. Apart from clergy and religious, we have very active laity and who keep the church uh, vibrant in spite of uh, and uh, a small number amidst the great majority of our pro Protestant brethren and non-Christians uh, members in the two regions, especially Berg Valley, which has three uh, million population, and here 1.2 or 3 million. And we are blessed with very good and dedicated catechists uh, who help priests uh, in very closely in strengthening and catechizing our faithful and families. We are ever grateful to all the pioneer missionaries and our Indian missionaries in big number who are still with us and we have three senior priests who just retired last year, and one, Father Matthew, is with us, who offer their uh, lives for challenging work of evangelization till now, and who have endured hardships and much sacrifices uh, to build a strong local church, parishes, and institutions, and the fate of different communities and uh, tribes in the region. We're also much indebted to our religious brothers and sisters who have been uh, contributing much through quality education, social upliftment, and health ministry, in which we have the two wings in Barak Valley and here. Lastly, we have gone a long way, and we still have a long way to go through, and we can achieve a lot more with the help from above if we can truly serve unity, which is my Episcopal um, uh, motto. He who has been faithful in the past, we believe will continue to be uh, faithful for us as we march ahead. And your presence, we are sure, uh, will enhance the good work that we have begun in spite of our many uh, our frailties and many uh, uh, hard struggle. You, your presence, uh, we are confident and pray that will bring us closer together and to activate us more. And by the way, uh, the Nuncio, His, His Excellency Nuncia, uh, is very, very, uh, how they call it, has a great sense of human qualities, a sense of humor. He keeps us not only uh, smiling, but uh, you know, makes us uh, with laughter uh, throughout. And there's never a boring moment. And uh, I'm sure he has some, something in mind even tonight to make you happy and smile. And for the first time, I also know who I am. And yesterday he said, well, Berg Valley, yes, we have meeting, and this and that. Now the head, you are the head. The head is in Aizol, and the heart is in Berg Valley. And the heart is none other than Father Joachim himself, whom I'd like to uh, call upon and also would like to welcome in a very special way and thank him uh, here in uh, Aizol. Uh, because it's a great, great hard work. All the three nuncias, including the present one, you know, we always began from there. And I, I'm, I used to be amazed and wonder at the sense of teamwork and hard work that has gone into. And it's really, really great experience. So I'd like to also thank uh, our Episcopal Vicar, 
the um, uh, Father Joachim for his great contribution. And I think that's enough to give a little picture of our very honored guest and also a little picture of our diocese. So with this, I would like to welcome once again and may this evening be a pleasant experience for all of us. God bless you and thank you. Thank you, Your Grace, Bishop Stephen, for that enlightening and beautiful welcome address. Moving on to our item, I would like to invite the young Christian students of St. Joseph's Church, Bethlehem, to perform a cultural dance. They have recently won the Diocese level cultural dance competition organized for the 75 years of the priest settlement here in Isol Diocese. Do not suan St. Joseph's Church, YCS, Namlam, and Tirturin, Gansome.
Thank you so much, St. Joseph's Church, YCS Bethlehem. For our information, the name of their dance is Salakya. That was indeed an astonishing performance. Thank you so much. Do not swan in Malzai and Night Hadona, Mizoram Pumpui, Ama Lapu Aron Deng Swak Du, No Bangber, Achanga, Opa Berthank Puina, Kansak Puite, Gortin Deng, the Ron Puatuka, Zai Turin, and Som Donani. Now we shall have a solo performance from someone that's got everyone in town talking. He started his singing career by being among the finalists of Mizoram's Got Talent. He has also won Iqfai's singing competition. He also got his fame from his self-composed song that he performed on Mizaw Idol. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Tlangval Joseph Lil Duomamar. Good bearing the Laulo Mangu. Hello. 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 Tlem kan sayi ve long eh, tlem sayi ve sun sayi hindo. Kasam lau lau ngai mo fe fe no mukeringa, kan sayi lang zui nga. Ay tiang zuan tiang anti zuan kapungam m m rengat zela su wangaron pu kan ni hian zuan in tu na hian in til zak tu ngai kamu kasiat kat m m to ngai han di telok kedua hey sister te. Father te, an lam hi kam muzak kan ni. Tu wang suanin, an nong ami sim sim te pakan lam kam muzak ka. Tu na han setan na pol la uzong su han ding pot mai teu. No lam tu ka ding ru le. Oh hap lai te oh. Father te, sister te lam ka kam mudu ni ya. Ape te ka kan sang. Tumai insu melau tur ni oh sual sual ti lom don lau rering lam nak kan. Tha Thai pay top meru tu kan. Minta zakman bayi dalam leh, juga. Tiana, ah, Zuan, 
เพศเตัวนี้มีส่วนตนาที่ฉันรู้อเปมีส่วนตนาที่ฉันรู้อเปทิ้งเขาสุมาสวอาจจะไม่คำเมนมาพาร์สตัดตัวทำเราอินไฟดูน่าเราทำตัวรู้ลลิสวตัวนักสนนสวกันทำตัวอันนี้พาร์สตัดตัวทำเราอินไฟน่าเราดำตัวรู้ลลิสวตัวน่าจะนาสวกันดำตัวอันนี้สวนกันนาที่ฉันรู้ว่าเป็นสวนกันนาที่ฉันรู้ว่าเป็นทิ้งคู่สุมาสวก็ไม่กันเมลมาทิ้งคู่สุมาชวนก็ไม่กันเมลมาโอ้ขลมเอ All right, a big thank you to Joseph. Apart from being a great singer, he is a dedicated youth member of the church. He is currently the president of Saint uh, of r a n g d i l Branch Catholic Chalai Paul in m a m i t Parish, and we are happy to have him here. So, moving on to our next item. Now we will be having a felicitation program. I would like to call upon our His Lordship, our dear Bishop Most Reverend Stephen Rotluanga, to felicitate. Uh, His Excellency Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli, Apostolic Nuncio to India and Nepal. All right, we invite on stage His Excellency Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli, the Apostolic Nuncio of the Holy See to India and Nepal, to do to do the honors. We invite His Grace Most Reverend Stephen r o t l u a n g a Bishop of i z o Usual, typical, to express our oneness with the Holy Father through you, Your Excellency. A cultural part of our culture is uh, with you whenever you go. With love and affection, I offer on behalf of all of us. And we have also another token of appreciation to His Excellency. And a little art piece. I have studied my art in Florence and Toronto, but I realize n u n c i is a better, greater artist than me, because he sees things even which artists don't see. So I enjoy those. So this is a little part of little piece of art done here by some of our local artists. It's not looking great, but it's the artwork and the product of their labor. We're glad, on behalf of all of us, I offer this to you. Thank you, Your Grace. Now we have another token of appreciation from the Capuchin Fathers. The Capuchin Fathers would like to hand over a gift. Thank you, Bishop Stephen. And yes, I invite the Capuchin Fathers.
Thank you, fathers. Now I would like to invite His Excellency Archbishop Leopoldo to address the gathering. Chibai. Uh, I see that uh, this is very solemn. It's the first time that uh, I have to speak up publicly with two guardian angels. <laughs> Usually guardian angels are invisible, but these two are really very visible. Thank you. Thank you for being here, assisting. Your Lordship, Right Reverend Bishop Stephen and uh, Father Joseph, Vicar General of the Diocese of uh, Isol, and uh, Father Joachim, according to the Bishop, the heart of uh, Barak Valley. Other dignitaries here present, uh, Reverend uh, Sisters. Reverend Fathers, and all dear friends that lay faithful in our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm very happy to be present with you today and join you in this felicitation program on the occasion of my visit uh, to the Diocese of Isol. I gladly greet His Lordship Bishop Stephen the priests, the men and women religious, and the lay faithful who have come here. At the very outset, I take this opportunity to express my appreciation to you for all that you do with zeal and dedication to serve the church and society. On behalf of Pope Francis, and you know, as I have mentioned today, is his birthday. On behalf of Pope Francis, I convey to you his greetings, his blessings, and also his gratitude for your commitment in building up the Diocese of Isol. And be assured that Pope Francis keep you in his prayers and in his heart. Even if Isol is far from Rome, but you are close to the heart of the Pope. And my presence among you this evening is a sign of his care and his love for you. Your diocese is truly blessed to have a number of institutions that cater to the educational, social, and charitable needs of the people. You have a good number of primary and high schools, some of them run by the diocese and some by the religious. Besides, you have one college which is run by the religious. You also have hostels, medical centers, charitable agencies. So I was, and I am very happy to learn that you have a number of uh, active commissions in your diocese. The Catholic Youth Organization, the Youth Catholic Students Association, the Catholic, uh, uh, this is impossible for me to pronounce, Emike Paul, the Women's Group, Women's Group, and Catholic Mipa Paul, Men's Group, and the small Christian communities. They are present in, your, in many of your parishes. So congratulations for this uh, really um, many activities and many uh, institutions you have in the diocese. Also, the uh, social 
apostolate of the church is carried out by the Siva Kendra in Silchar and the Zoram Entum Paul in Isol on Mizoram. With the help of Caritas India, the Diocesan Social Development Commission carries out its service to the poor. In Fratelli Tutti, Pope Francis remarked, today we have a great opportunity to express our innate sense of fraternity, to be good Samaritans who bear the pain of other peoples, troubles rather than fomenting greater hatred and resentment. Like the chance uh, traveler in the parable, we need only have a pure and simple desire to be a people, a community, constant and tireless in the effort to include, integrate, and lift up the fallen. Human beings are so made that they cannot live develop and find fulfillment except in this sincere gift of self to others. These beautiful words of Pope Francis uh, should uh, inspire us and give also strength uh, to be really the good Samaritans for our brothers and sisters, especially in our midst here in Iceland. Let us work together to build a society based on service to others rather than the desire to dominate. A society based on sharing what one has with others rather than the selfish scramble by which for us much wealth as possible. A society in which the value of being together as human beings is extremely important. Dear friends, as we draw near to the great solemnity of the birth of baby Jesus of Bethlehem, I would like to reiterate the importance of having strong faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. God has done everything. He has done the impossible. He has made flesh. He has become one of us. His all-powerful love has accomplished something which surpasses all human understanding. The infinite has become a child, has entered the human family. Consequently, there is hope for us. There is hope in the world. A hope in which we can trust, even at the most difficult times and in the most difficult situation. Traf has sprung up, bringing kindness, justice, and peace. By his incarnation, Jesus teaches us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and live temperately, justly, and devotedly in this age as we await our blessed hope. In reading of the gospel at the beginning of this felicitation program, we heard the prophecy of Isaiah said, uh, prepare the way of, our, of the Messiah, of Jesus Christ. And to prepare this, you have to fill the valley and to low down hills, mountains. You here in Mizoram, you have a, a lot of work to fill valley and low down hills to prepare the way of our Lord. But this is also a message for you, commitment to prepare the way of our Lord. Thank you.
thank you, Your Excellency, Archbishop Leopoldo Guerrilli, for those beautiful and kind words. Now we shall move on to the next item, which is a choir from St. Thomas Branch, Zaipol. Do not suan in Zaipol can night have a letunga, Zaile to hear in St. Thomas Branch, Zaipol de and Some.
Wow, what a wonderful performance. Thank you, St. Thomas Branch Zypol, for that glorious song, To God Be the Glory. Moving on to our next item, we have a worship dance from St. Mary's Church, Young Christian Students Electric Van. This young, students, young Christian students of St. Mary's Church Electric Van won the recently held dance competition organized for the Young Christian Students of Isol Diocese for the purpose of the 75, 75 years of the pre-settlement here in Isol Diocese. Now let's welcome on stage St. Mary's Church YCS. Do not want St. Mary's Church Young Christian Students YCS te faklam ron entir turin kan some. Da ends 
Thank you, St. Mary's Church, young Christian students, for that wonderful performance. Now we will have a felicitation program, a short one, from the Most Reverend Stephen Rotluang, a Bishop of Aizol. We have two important fathers here with us who have helped in organizing, putting the, together this program for the visit of the Nuncio. So first, I would like to call upon Most Reverend Stephen Rotluang on stage to felicitate, to, yes. Yes, yes, Bishop on stage. Now, I would like to call upon uh, our Episcopal Victorburg Valley Region, Reverend Father Joachim Walder, to please come on the stage. Yes. Father, over to the stage. We would like to once again thank Father Joachim, who has helped arrange the whole program, who has been the man behind the program in the Barak Valley. And yes, he has assisted all the way till here in Aizol City. Thank you, Father Joachim. Now I would like to invite on stage Father Joseph Lalbiaktanga, the Vicar General, yes, of Aizol Diocese, who, have, who has been the man behind the organization of the Nuncio visit here in Aizol City. Thank you, fathers, and thank you, Your Grace. Now, moving on to our next item, we have Brother Saiju P. Michael, the president of CRI Mizoram Region. I would like to call him up on stage to address the gathering. Brother? Your Excellency, Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli, the Apostolic Duncio to India and Nepal, Right Reverend Stephen, our beloved Bishop, fathers, sisters, brothers, invitees, members of the Diocesan Pastoral Council, leaders of the various organizations of the diocese, and my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Greetings to all of you on behalf of all the religious in the Diocese of Aijol. Pastoral visits of the officials of the church are considered as the moments of grace for all the members of the diocese. More especially, when His Excellency Apostolic Nuncio, the representative of the Pope, visiting our diocese is a matter of pride for all of us. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to Your Excellency for finding time to visit this diocese which is at the first, furthest end of India. In comparison to the rest of India, which has almost 2,000 years of faith tradition, though in this diocese we celebrate the Platinum Jubilee of the arrival of the first missionaries here this year, we still are in the infancy period with much more potential to grow in faith and number. Your Excellency, I'm sure that this pastoral visit of yours will give an impetus and momentum to the evangelization that's being carried on here. We have nearly 280 religious serving in the Diocese of Aijol as religious fathers, brothers, and majority of them as religious sisters, collaborating with the bishop and the diocesan clergy. 
Each of them contribute to the church with their own rich charisms. I would like to place on record the mutual respect and collaboration that exists between the priests of the diocese and the care and the encouragement that our beloved bishop gives to the religious. This mutual support helps us to give our best to the common evangelization mission of the church in a synodal way as per the clarion call of Pope Francis, be it in the health sector, education, or in social interventions. I will fail in my duty if I do not mention the active part played by the laity, both men and women, in the evangelization and pastoral ministry in the diocese and in the faith formation of the youth and children. I should also mention the great part played by the catechist in sustaining the faith in every nook and corner of the diocese. The growth of faith of any diocese or parish is measured by the priestly and religious vocations that they have. The mission ahead is much, but the laborers are few. We shall pray and work for more priestly and religious vocations. While thanking you, Your Excellency, for your graceful visit and blessings, we pray to the Almighty for your good health and all the graces that you require to carry on the great responsibilities entrusted to you by the Universal Church. As I conclude, I wish everyone present here the blessings of Mary, our mother, and the heavenly protection of St. Joseph, our patron, as we march ahead with the universal evangelization mission of the church. May God bless us all. Hello, May. A heartfelt thanks to Brother Saju P. Michael. Do not swan zan tun vo in tlayatana kan item tom na bear tour kan lao tling tering maya zai pol kan ngay tladona ay zol at swan kan zai pol swam ay zol dice is choir te zai kan ngay tladona ni amongst all the many many remarkable steps that the Aizol Diocese has taken one needs one is constituting the Aizol Diocese Choir. They travel far and wide serving the Lord through their music. They are considered to be the topmost renouncing choir that represents the state not only within the Northeast, the Northeast states, but throughout the country. Do not swan, good bangin, can Aizol Diocese Zaipol te ilaulo mangu.
Thank you, Dicey Zipol, the Dicey Square of Isol Dicey, for that melodious song. They are the selected members from different parishes of the Dicey's. They have represented our Dicey's in many regional and national level activities and programs. We are proud of them and we are happy that they could perform well. Now we have come to the end of tonight's program. I would now like to call upon Mr. Joseph Lelswana, the Vice President Male of Dicey's Pastoral Council here in Isol Dicey's to give a vote of thanks. Do not suan in program top lam kanlo tleng tader maya vote of thanks soy turin pu Joseph Lelswana. DPC Vice President Mel Consome. Your Excellency, Archbishop Leopoldo Girli, Nuncio to India and Nepal, Right Reverend, our beloved Bishop Stephen Rokuanga. Father Joseph Lalbiak Tanga, the Vicar General, and Father Joachim Walter, Episcopal <coughs> Vicar of Barak Valley Region. Dear fathers, brothers, sisters, and my beloved faithful in Jesus Christ. We are privileged and favored. We give thanks to the Almighty God for having come to our presence in the form, in the human form of Archbishop Leopoldo Guerrilli, who has expressed the Holy Father's love and care for his people. Dear Archbishop, we understand that you have spent three days in the diocese. We know how difficult it would have been. Constraint of time and the constraints of the road journey and the time that is spent on the, during the heavy schedules. It is your love that has brought you, and we are ever grateful to you and to God and the Holy Father for having sent you here. I would like to extend grateful heart feelings to our bishop and his collaborators, fathers, brothers, and sisters who have painstakingly taken this assignment to host the nuncio. As we heard from the bishop that this is the third visit by nuncio, two visits went off, and this th time it is again through Barak Valley and three days, and tomorrow and the day after to follow. We ha will be seeing more love showered into the faithful of this diocese, by which we know we will grow in faith. We express our gratefulness to the state government because Nuncio's visit involved protocol, security, and other peripheral involvement of the administration, which the state government has grant, granted to our request. This involves diplomatic as well as security, which is a Herculean task in this far-flung areas of the country. That too, it's more difficult in the hilly terrains. We also extend 
thanks to the locality, this locality where this venue is located, Dorpui Local Council for having granted this permission to use this all and the sound system. We thank them. We are grateful to all the participants who have taken time out of their busy schedule during the Christmas festivities. It's already here. They have taken time to practice, time to gather and perform very, very lively performances at this venue. We are grateful to them. To mention few, we are grateful to the Cathedral Choir, St. Thomas Choir, and the Diocese Choir. We extend thanks to the catechists, especially who presided the prayers the young Christian students for their very lively performances. They have lived in the atmosphere. And not the least, our efficient, and I'm proud to say that our host of the night, Alan and Cecilia, we, they are the jewels of the diocese. The soloist, the one who performed a lively song, Joseph Laldu Oma. We are grateful to him. He has come all the way from Rangdil to give this beautiful performance. And if I have missed out any one of them, we are grateful to them. Thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Joseph Lalswana, for the wonderful vote of thanks. With that, we have come to the end of tonight's session. Now, I would like to invite His Excellency, Archbishop Leopoldo Guerrilli, to give a final blessing upon stage, please, Your Excellency. Let us all rise for the final blessing, which will con conclude tonight's program. Uh, I invite you to join your hands and pray together the Our Father in Mizu language. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night. Good night. Bin so weit zum Arken Lomme, mut du weg ole.